Well, welcome to Ascot. Well, we're going to kick off with a two mile five furlong novice chase. And the top one is Adlos Ionis Rentis for Darren Thompson. Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen. Double Diamond for Graham Clitterbuck. Pride of Paris, Paul Rhodes. State of Euphoria and Mango Sorbo for Ryan Tamasebi. Musical Bell for Jim Murray and Royal Optic for Martin Lederman. Very, very small right in there on that card that are racing. The picture is beautifully sharp though. It's obviously been running ultra high resolution this one and the um, text box at the corner which I try not to use as much as possible is going to be pretty much impossible to use anyway so we might get a few mistakes in this one as it's early in the season and we've not learned all the names yet but at the moment I think it's Pride of Paris in the lead from one of Ryan Tamasebi's two horses I can't tell which one's which yet at the moment um, that's mine on the inside Royal Optic with the yellow cap as they get to the first of I think 16 fences the back marker is just about man but Mango Sorbo they're down to the second could jump there by the Jim Murray horse in second place. I think that's called Musical Bell. I get down to this ditch and over that one they all go and it's Pride of Paris in the lead. Musical Bell is second. Royal Optic isn't third. That's Bilbo Baggins. Um, would appear that my horse is running the wrong coloured silks. So just to make things even more confusing, we might not be having the right jockeys on the right horse because the one that's running in John Morgan's colours is actually mine. So. I'm just going to take it on trust that all the others are correct. So we're going to look look through. It's uh, Paul Rhodes in the lead, and Darren Thompson second, Ryan Tamasebi third, and then the other horses from the inside out are virtually in a line as they take that fence there. You see Paul Rhodes' horse made a mistake on the near side. It's of, this is of the back line. It's Ryan Tamasebi's horse on the rail next to that one in the green and the white and the red is Grand Clutterbuck. Then the one with the white sleeves actually i think that one's darren thompson um and next to, next to that one is mine in john morgan's <laughs> colors and jim morris is on the outside the one in second which is running the colors that darren thompson sometimes uses is craig allen so i think we've sort of got that sorted out as they come up past the winning post with a complete circuit to go if this was week seven or eight i'd probably know these horses now who well enough to know which one's which but second week of the season they're all new and we're still learning what they're called i just hope that we haven't got a race with a lot of runners in like this otherwise it could become carry on so7 and it's pride of paris that's in the lead um bilbo back into second i'm going to go and get a magnifying glass or some binoculars uh, in third place i think is bilbo baggins on the outside, yep, the Oregon store on the outside, and Ryan Tamasebi's horse is called State of Euphoria. Um, as they skip over this next one, maybe I want to go and fire up a second laptop and I can read the card from that, but that doesn't really help because the colours on Tom don't match up with the colours in the game, so. Oh well. <laughs> Get to the next. If it doesn't kill you it makes you stronger so they say we'll find out i'm not really that good at commentator now are we so it's pride of paris in the lead from double diamond in second as they get down to this ditch oh and he's gone there double diamond i think he was it's gone and mango sorbet has gone as well so two out which is probably going to make my life a little bit easier but it's not really good for the trainers involved as they get over that one it's pride of paris in the lead from state of euphoria in second royal optics gone into third then uh, Agios Ionia Renter or something similar to that is after that one. Then comes Bilbo Baggins who is still in the race and the back marker is Musical Bell for Jim Murray so they're racing right handed swinging somewhere towards home I think. I'm not sure, sure how far we've got left to go. Maybe on the back straight I think as they come down to this next one I really can't see the graphics at all. I'm watching this on a 55 inch screen as well. Um, as we get over the next one, what that says about my eyesight, or oh, I don't know. But it's Pride of Paris that's in front as they come down to this ditch. And they won't get over that one. I'm, despite the complaints I'm making about not being able to see the picture and the quality of the of the horses and stuff, does look really good. But, uh, I think we'll find a way to make that box a bit bigger. Anyway, it's Pride of Paris that's still in the lead from State of Euphoria. If anybody's still listening, you've probably all muted me by now. Then comes Bilbo Baggins, who's now making a big run through in third place. Uh, the one that's creeping a bit closer is Musical Bell. Royal Optic, predictably enough, is dropping out the back. And Darren Thompson's horse with a really long name is also at the back. I'll do the rest of the commentary in Australian and pretend I'm Doug. That's the sort of thing Doug would say, isn't it? 
with Darren Thompson's horses at the back, but it's on doing all the way today, I think. So it's Pride of Paris in the lead then from Bilbo Baggins in second, then State of Euphoria. I think they've got about a furlong and a half to go, and probably only one more fence to take. This could well be the last, because I can see the crowd. They get over that one nicely, and it's Pride of Paris being challenged by Bilbo Baggins on the outside. I think Pride of Paris has probably got enough to take this. This could, is this could be Paul, Paul Rose's first jump run of the season, but Bilbo Baggins is probably one last lunge at him as he races up towards the line. Oh, and Bilbo Baggins has stolen it on the line. Bilbo Baggins wins it. Pride of Paris was second. And then the rest of them. So we'll take a look at the card at the end. We'll just be able to make that out, probably. It's Bill Webb against the winner, Pride of Paris second, and State of Euphoria third. And there it is, Bilbo Backings for Craig Allen, the winner. Pride of Paris for Paul Rhodes, second. State of Euphoria, Ryan Tamasebi was third. Musical Bell for Jim Murray was fourth. And Royal Optic was fifth.